Alright folks, it's a long time since I've offered a lesson, a tutorial in the uh, Germanic Round Liar. I think the last time I did it was July 2019 with Ben from Ovendale. So I think uh, now is a good time to have another go. And um, let's focus on the basics today. The very basics of playing the instrument. There are a lot of YouTube videos out there of guys who uh, like to show you their fingering techniques. Good for them, but um, I'd like to offer you something where hopefully you can, you can actually learn. So, this lyre is tuned in G. G, A, B, C, D, E. Yours may be different, that's okay, it doesn't matter. I also learned to play with a plectrum. Uh, this is my preferred style of playing. We know they're authentic, the old English phrase, hey up a nargle. Um, I learned that from Corwin Brock's video on ancientmusic.co.uk. Harp nail. And we know other cultures as well use plectrums when they played lyres um, of their own models. So it's a fair guess, it's how I learnt to play, and that's what we're going to focus on, is use of the plectrum. Hey up and nargle. So the first of the two techniques we're going to look at today is called block and strum. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers away from the strings I want to hear as I play across the strings. So if I play um, major chord, we'll just go up and down the scale, and you'll see that I remove my fingers from the strings that I want to hear. So it sounds like this. do the same um, in a minor scale by blocking off my top string. That's good practice, you know, it does get your fingers going. It's kind of how you should begin. A good thing to do when practicing block and strum is to make yourself use fingers which are not next to each other. It took me a while to get this actually. So. practice that the more independence you have in your left hand. Feel free to press the stop button at any time and, um, and have a go at some of this stuff, see how you get on. When you're feeling more confident you can be a bit more creative with your right hand with your, your plectrum. I, I know I'm talking as a right hander. Feel free to reverse if you're left handed. What I really like to do with this instrument is play completely at randomly. It's fantastic practice and it gets you used to the instrument and how it works and what it, what it can do. It's surprisingly versatile for an ancient instrument. So I'm going to play without thinking. I'm not going to plan any of it, I'm just going to play. All right. Planned. That's the beauty of this instrument and if you can sit there and do that it's amazing practice you will have so much fun in the learning process. I know with, um, with other musical instruments it feels like it's very formal, it feels like it can be a chore. Not this. This existed before musical rules did. Let's have a look at plucking then. What I like to do here is play uh, notes I like to lead with my with my uh, plectrum hand and from behind I will choose drones So sixth string and the fifth string the first string and the second string they all make fantastic drones Don't misunderstand me any string can make a drone on this instrument But these are my particular favorites and I'm going to use them to demonstrate like this So what I was doing there was effectively alternating notes with drones. So drone, no drone, drone, no drone, drone, no drone. I did actually drone there, my bad. <laughs> and of course you can change your drones as you go along. So I'm going to drone my fifth string here. And on this occasion, perhaps I will use my sixth string. Uh, 
And when you get confident, when you're happy that you are able to control that, you can chop and change as you go along. So I'm going to play without thinking again and I'll show you how it works. So again, practice and enjoy it. The most wonderful thing about this instrument, and indeed other ancient instruments, is that you can just pick them up and play them. Give them a bit of a dust, a bit of a tune-up as appropriate, and you can just play them. There is no amplification required, you don't need any cables, there's no settings, no dials, no buttons, there's no plastic. It's a completely natural instrument. I mean, I'll go as far as to say the word magic, I know it's cliched, but I do feel that way about, um, about this instrument particularly, and other ancient instruments. You can just play them. Just like that. And I'm going to prove it to you, actually, if proof were needed. I have another instrument here that is not the Germanic lyre. It is a uh, bone flute. This was made from a, the leg of a red deer. Beeswax for a fipple. It was made by Corwin Brock from ancientmusic.co.uk. It's one of my most treasured in instruments in my collection. I love to display these at shows. I mean, it has had so much snot in it from, from children in the public, but... Uh, they love to have a go, you know. And this is another instrument you can just play completely at random. Absolutely love that, it's beautiful. Sometimes, of course, when you're feeling mighty, nothing better than a blast on a, on a, on a blowing horn. Stay safe, everyone.